This video was brought to you by Yamaha Proven Off-Road ATVs and Side-by-Side -side Vehicles. Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas, and today I'm going to offer my long-term review of the Black Gold Ascent Whitetail Sight. I've had this sight now on a couple of different bows over the past six months or so. Uh, right now I've got it on the PSC Ferocity, I had it in on Obsession uh, FXL a little earlier. Uh, and this is Black Gold's newest hunting site, and I believe it's also their most affordable. This one carries an MSRP of about $200, although you may, might see slightly different prices on different retailers. Uh, check your local dealer for more information. Uh, I believe this site is basically a more compact version of the Ascent Verdict, which has been around for a very long time as one of Black Gold's kind of flagship level sites. This one comes in a single pin or a three pin variant. I've got the three pin. And uh, after doing a bunch of playing around with uh, with hunting sets over the years, uh, this is the three pin has has become my go to favorite. The three pin as long as it's movable as well. I I, I toyed around with a single pin movable sight. I toyed around with five pin sights. Uh, the three pin has kind of given me the combination that I like of a, a fairly open sight picture with just three pins in there, and the and plus the ability to to move the sight if I, if I need to if I if I've got a longer shot I want to take I want to practice a little longer. I've still got my mine set up at 20, 30, and 40 yards, my three pins right now. My bottom pin is a floater, so all I've got to do is loosen that little lock screw there, and then I can just move up and down and get the uh, get the distance I'm looking for. Um, the sight is, uh, is bulletproof, as you would expect from Black Gold. This comes with the same warranty as all the other Black Gold sights, which is an unconditional guarantee. So if it breaks... Even if you do something stupid, Black Gold will uh, will do their best to help you out. Uh, I've I've had I've had three different Black Gold sites right now, and so far I've not had to take advantage of that warranty, and I'm hopefully I'm never going to. Um, the site is is basically a little tank. The main differences, if you're familiar with the Ascent Verdict from this site, uh, is that this one does not have third axis adjustability. Um, that is really the only major thing I would put against this site. And, and you know you know that going in, you're, you're spending less money on this site than you would on a verdict, so you're gonna have to give up some things and that's what you're giving up. And so it's, it's a, if, you're, if you're a ground hunter, uh, you don't really have to worry about that third axis so much. It's more or less if you're a tree stand hunter and you're, 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 you're at those, those long angles down, that's why you wanna make sure your third axis is, is, uh, is set. You can test that regardless and set the site up as well as you can. And, and you know, it's up to you to, to make sure you're, you're comfortable with the angles you're shooting at. Uh, the benefit of, uh, of losing that third axis adjustability is this site is, is more compact and it's lighter than the uh, than the verdict was. Uh, this one is coming in at about seven and a half ounces uh, total weight, which is pretty good for a fully movable site. Um, it's got some interesting technology in this site. Um, they've called this, Black Gold calls it their photochromatic technology. I'm not gonna tell you I'm smart enough to know exactly what that means, but the general idea is that you can see well in low light conditions because the pins are nice and bright but when you get outside in the bright sun, uh, they're not, they're just, some of the light gets absorbed and it's not, you're not getting that halo effect on those pins sometimes. So I have that, the reason, you know, when I shoot target archery, I shoot usually with a dot is I don't like that halo effect on the pins. I've not had this on this bow. I've shot this in bright sunlight and I've shot this in my club here where it can get a little bit dark sometimes and the, the pins have been showing up great every time. So super happy with that. Uh, and lots of fiber you can see in the pins here. So lots, lots of ways to catch light when you need it. And I've been happy how it's worked so far. Um, again, bulletproof design. It feels like a tank. There's, there's just it's all metal construction in here. Um, the when you're when you're moving the set up and down, you have to move it. It's fairly stiff, which is by design. There's a lot more gear touching the actual site in here, so less chance of uh, of the gear stripping or anything like that breaking. It's a uh, it is not going to affect you in any way. And that part is all toolless. Um, the other only minor complaint I would have with this site is the windage is not toolless. So if I, if I want to adjust the windage, you're gonna to have to loosen that with a with the hex key, and then and then move this to the position you want it to be in. I would I would love to see the same kind of toolless adjustability that we have for the vertical adjustment as we have for the horizontal or windage. Uh, it's just not on this site. But again, that's gonna add a little more weight. It's gonna add a little more expense. So you have it, there's there's sites that have that if you want it in Black Gold's lineup. Uh, but if you're looking for compact and lightweight uh, and more affordable, this one's going to give you everything you need. Uh, the three pins are movable, again, just with, a, with an Allen key there. Loosen, loosen that. And I have not found any play with that. Sometimes when you get some, I've played with some multi-pin sites before where you, where you move the pin up and down. And when you, when, you, when you lock it down, the pin all of a sudden moves or twists on you. I'm not getting any of that action here. It's, uh, it's stopping exactly where I want it to stop. There are laser etchings on there on the vertical and on the horizontal. 
um, so you can kind of see exactly where you are and where you want to be with your individual pins and the actual whole housing. Uh, and then when it comes to the vertical adjustability, Black Gold sends you a big packet of sight tapes. And so you just put a sight tape on there and then, uh, then you've got, you know, you, I use my 40 as my floater, so I, I usually keep this at 40 yards all the time for my 20, 30, and 40 yard pins are set. And then if I want to move that bottom pin, if I want to shoot it at 60 or 70 or 80 yards, I just rotate this down and I'm good to go. So all told, super impressed. Black Gold makes fantastic sights. Uh, I would have no trouble keeping this uh, on this bow for years to come and any other bow I'm going to take into the woods with me. Um, if you'd like to learn more, head over to blackgoldsights.com. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you can, please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help the channel an awful lot, and we'll see you soon.